Hi there, it's Tanya. I'm back again. Um, yesterday we did um, these clusters, which was using um, different sorts of leaves. So we've got leaves from die cuts. We've got leaves what I've printed on vellum. And we've got some leaves, what you get with um, silk flowers and, and things like that. Um, let me just make sure. Oh, just move my camera down, that's it. And then we did this. A gigantic one which I said I'd probably put at the front of a, a book or something um, so if you've not caught that one that was yesterday and today we're gonna do some um, I don't I'm gonna call them clusters but I think I'm gonna use them more as uh, book plates now I made these a while ago not on camera um, they was following something that Susan Taylor Brown uh, was doing who's poppiness and um, I did put some on the front of some books I've not finished those books uh, yet I've kind of put them away I'll do them um, later on in the botanical series so I wanted to do um, some of these on on camera I think they're going to be a little bit different to, to those ones so I've just got this one um, ready um, and we've got a, a leaf here, a fern, and we've got some tissue paper, and then we've got some sari material, some netting, and then some burlap. And I'm not going to glue them all together. I'm just going to um, sew around um, the sari, and then I might do a little bit of a stitch um, in down the middle so that's uh, caught down so that's what we're doing I have already um, put matte medium over the top of the leaves so I um, use Liquidex um, matte medium so I've give the leaves a cover on the front and on the back and then I put them on top of the tissue and I just um, did a coat over the top to to stick them onto the tissue you'll see in places they're still not totally uh, dry so let's um what shall we start off with we'll just start off with the one that's on the left hand side in fact i'm going to do that one first right so i've got some different bits of sorry now, I got this from a shop called Olive's Originals, who is on Etsy, and she is based in, in the UK. So I've got some of that. And then I've got this uh, netting, and um, when I did some painting with acrylics, I just threw it um, in the bath with the paint water, and it's gone like a greeny, um, browny colour. So I thought that would be uh, perfect. And then I've only got a bit of uh, burlap left. So I've got some um, muslin type stuff. So we'll probably have to do a few, a few with those. So <clears throat> I think first shall match it up with some, some material. So I don't want to hide uh, that bit. So get hold of that. The nice thing about putting them on the tissue is obviously you can still see see the material uh, under the back. So I'm just going to cut <coughs> a strip of this natin stuff. I've had this for ages in my stash and it was a, a bright white um, and I'd meant to tea dye it several times and just never never got round to it and yeah when I was I'd done some painting I thought I'm gonna throw it in the bath and just just see oh sorry about the the noise right I'm liking that Oops, it's a bit hard to, to get hold on. Right, I'm just going to cut some down this side. I'm not re using these scissors for, for any reason because it's not uh, cutting it in a, 
a zigzag but I did wonder if it would make it just a bit more rougher um, type thing but I don't suppose it's making any difference to be honest right so that there that there let's cut that bit off because that's very if I can just rip it yeah right and then I'm going to cut um, a piece of burlap now let me just cut that little bit off that can go in my uh, scraps I don't know if that could just be wide enough but it's got this um, hem down it but then that's not going to be wide enough if I do so I'm going to have to use it um, that way so I'm going to cut this bottom off because it's all um, sticking up the wrong the wrong way so if I place it there I can probably cut some of that hem off I don't want to cut it all off though because it'll make it too too narrow okay and then let's cut it about there so I might get another another one um, out of this one Okay, that's straightish. So let's start laying this on. I am going to be sewing some beads on uh, another time, so you will see see these pop up um, again at some point. Oh, I like that. So I thought these would look really nice um, on the fronts of of notebooks. So obviously they're too big for for clusters but i suppose they could if i put card at the back i suppose they could be some kind of tuck or or something um like that so that's all i'm going to do with that one so if i sewed around there if i put my pin in there and there <clears throat> that should should hold it enough for me to to sew around so that's that's that one done right <clears throat> what have we got now it's got a, a tall one and I've cut a longish piece of material so I prefer it on that side. Do I want it more over? Oh, I don't know if I quite like that in the middle, actually. Yeah, I do. Right, I've got um, some of the netting. Let's go from the top I'll get the height first okay and then I'm gonna have to trim down because that's horrendous <laughs> with going um, a little bit lower okay so that 
that's there. Then we'll place that there. Um, I think this bit of that might just be um, the right size. So yes, I'll cut the um, top off. Like that. Let's um, I'll just measure it up with with a net and so and then this little bit can go my uh, scrap tin. I don't want my um, bits that are a bit a bit tough. So that can go there. That can go there. It's probably a little bit too big. So I'll go down. I'll go down this side and straighten it up a little bit not like I particularly want it straight but I'm just thinking that's probably the easiest way to um, narrow it down in fact I might have that bit sticking there what does it look like on the opposite side because the fabric's so sheer, the pattern <coughs> um, is about the same on, on each side. So that can go. Yeah, I like that. So that's that one. Just get in there. Then I'll put one here and hopefully that will hold. I'll just have to <laughs> take the pit off a bit when I sew it. So that's that one. Again, I could probably take a bit, a bit more off the, off the bottom. Yeah. Take a bit more off the top. Yeah, I like that. But I don't think I like all that net in there. Nearly there. Okay, so that's that's that one. Oh, I'm getting through them pretty quick. Right, so what have we got next? So we've got this little um, fern. And I think that's nice. Got some net left over here like so and then I'm gonna have to just reach over and get some Got some muslin there. But I've also got these um fabric um sample panels. I don't know if I quite like that. I'll just, yeah, I do like it on that um, paler one. Hmm. 
I don't dislike it, but no, I do like that one. I think I might do it with that. So if I've got that there. I want that green down the bottom. So straighten it up a little bit. Like so. Then if I pop pop that there. I don't know. It's just it looks nice. I'm not saying it doesn't look nice. I think it could do really with something brown brown. <laughs> not just brown, but brown brown. Now, I have got a little bit of brown. Um, I forget what this is called. I'm wondering if to <coughs> put that under underneath. Let's just take um, a piece of this. Let's just see what. look like um, double just to give it so you can see see the colour a bit more Yeah, I'm not being wowed by it. Do I need to be wowed by it? I don't know. Do I don't know if I tried the dark green. Did I just try the olive? In that <coughs> that pattern. Let's um, put that in. But I think we still need to see the the green. Let me just cut that. I don't really want it to be zigzag. then you, you can't really see it can you it's just not doing it for me um <clears throat> let's change the sorry
that's better. Now, do I want the brown behind it? Or do I want the bit of matting? Right, let me get my normal <coughs> scissors because I don't want this to be. Yeah, I prefer that one. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay now. I'll put that in with scraps. Right, so pin that there. And that. Okay. Let's find a good place. Let's go there. Okay, so that's that one. Right. Oh, I've got two more. I was going to say the last one. That's it. I don't like how that's ripped. So yeah, the brown's the brown's not really doing it, is it? I think if it was um, autumn, I'd be all oh yeah, that brown looks lovely. <laughs> it's surprising. All right, so we want this to go with this. I'm thinking I'm going to rip this tissue down a little bit. I think I'll take that around there. I'll just take a look at that from there, that's okay. Run a bit there. Yep. Oh, and that. Right, so that can go. Oh, I like that. So which way do we want? I think like that. Okay, so now we've got some netting. So I'll put it on top of that. Okay. I'm just gonna cut that cut down a little bit. Okay, let's have a look what this um, olive looks like. Mm. I like it, but I think it gets a little bit <coughs> lost. Not sure how I feel about that one. <laughs> Oh, I like that. Right, so again, I'm going to 
just trim as high as I can just to get rid of the, the zigzag. do across the bottom because I'll be cutting cutting it off anyway. That's it. So we'd go like that. So I'm gonna cut it off about there. Okay that can go in the scraps. So that's there. Nah, I can't make my mind up if I want. Yeah, I prefer it that side. So that's that. That one wasn't too bad. That's that one, and the final one. It's not too tall for that. Yeah, that's a shame. Right, so them two are no good. I don't know how big this chicken is. No, that can probably go in my scraps too, actually. I will be getting getting that out another day and I will need some <coughs> pieces of material. Now I did the same with this, just throw it in there with the paint uh, water. So I'll look what this looks like. Oh, I like that. Let's try that. I'm going to give it a little bit more of a... In fact, I'm going to take that bit. Something stuck to me. Um, I'm going to cut that top bit off because it's got that crease, obviously, where it's been folded um, in my box. That really wasn't anything, anything like straight. <laughs> I don't mind wonky, but wow. <laughs> that was off the charts. Right. So... I'm going to give it a little bit of a, a border, so I'll cut it about there, pop that over there, for my scraps, <laughs> yeah you've heard it, <laughs> yeah we know, right so that can go there, then I'm wondering what the brown would look like, um, peeping, oh I like that, peeping out of there, um, I'm just going to take that seam off. Let's just put that a little bit more up here. I think I'm just going to do it a little bit diagonal and I'm going to do that a little bit more um, diagonal. Okay, and then that, yeah, I like that. Is it missing something? I feel like it's uh, missing something. You know, I think if this was put on card, this would make a lovely um, side talk. I like that. Let's, um, I'm gonna start and put these. Oh, I know what we haven't put on. We haven't put on the sari. I think I was thinking, oh, I perhaps don't need it, but actually, I'm wondering if that's that's what's missing. Is that?
not sure how I feel about this. <laughs> not not in general. <laughs> it sounded a bit. I'm not sure how I feel right now. Um, don't know. Let's um, start and put these things back while I'm having a think. I don't know. I don't know if it's just because it's so so brown and like I say if it was a different season I'd be going oh yeah that, I love that um I think it is just because it's it's summer that I'm thinking that that isn't right um kind of thing no I do I do like it I do I do <laughs> um I need to remember that I've got this um Chase cloth from Splattering K. Right, so I'm going to pin that up and I don't know if to pause or if to sew off camera or on camera because I know some people love it, some people hate it. Um, and after I've sewn it, I'm not doing anything else to it at this point. Um, I'm waiting for some more beads from uh, BB Craft. And I've got some little uh, bronze sequins. And I was thinking of doing um, some sewing some little sequins and, and beads on. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to pop that one in my scrap thing. Right, what's on the floor now? My netting. So, I'm going to sew them on camera, I think. Um, and obviously, um, if you don't like it, then um, when I come, come back, all I'm doing is showing them sewn up and that will be uh, the end of the video. So, yeah, if, you, if you're not keen on it, then obviously... Um, you don't you don't have to carry on watching uh, the rest and you won't have missed out um on anything uh, apart from sewing and that's if you you want to see it Whew, that was a bit wasn't it <laughs> made a right song and dance of that but yeah i was kind of thinking in my own head am i doing anything um after after that moved I don't know how easy this is, is going to be I'll probably regret saying I'm doing it on camera we'll see it'll either be easy or it'll be hard <laughs> so that's that um, right I'm going to pause my, I get myself ready because uh, I need to pull the sewing machine down and I've got my Edith Alden pottery in front of uh, the sewing machine so um, I shall see you in a tick okay I'm not sure what this is going to look like um, on, on camera so I'm just doing a straight stitch I'm just trying to keep the sari straight I don't want it to to ravel up. I'm just going to turn this corner and then go down and catch the tissue. I'm not sure how the tissue will sew because obviously it's very thin. I'm going to carry on um, up the tissue.
And then I'm going to go uh, down the sari on that side and oh, that's fell out. Let's uh, get that. So I'm actually going to start here and go, go across a little bit. <laughs> Same there and then go across. Okay. Right, looks like I've got to go go down there. I'd obviously miss that bit. So I'll go down here. Keep it nice and taut. Okay. So that went fine. Just um, got a few. Yeah, I really like that. And say so when I use it, I can obviously trim it off um, if if needed. Let's um, get my pins back in in that. Right, let's have a look at the at the next one. So I think I'll start there, go straight across up to there, down and down there, and then I'll have to finish off what I've uh, missed. Right, so hold that nice and straight. Go down here. Put my needle in and just make sure it looks as if it was getting a little bit gathery. So I'm going to go down a little bit. Stitch then across here. Make sure this is nice and flat. Okay, lift the needle up, and then I'll just have down this side of the tissue and uh, down the other piece of material so I'll take that out so I oh, know I only need to go around there oh that one was a nice one right with that yeah I like that so that's two and then should just be able to sew around uh, the tissue on this one <laughs> Here, I don't. Obviously, I can't, so I'm gonna have to go 
across ways. Another one. I really like them. Right, I think the same with this we can just go go through the tissue. I don't know where all these extra threads are coming from. I'm thinking my bobbins probably <coughs> near enough uh, empty to be honest. Right, let's take that one out. <laughs> that's that one all right so I think I'll go across the material there let's take that pin out there and follow the material around Did you have that thunder? Crikey. Oh dear, Elena will be coming home from school, I think, about in the next half an hour. We shouldn't get wet through. I don't know if it's raining or not. I can't, can't hear it. Right, I need to be uh, careful because that's not attached. So I'm going to sew across here. Round a little bit. I think this material is um, puffed up underneath. Fine. Thank you. 
maybe can see um, decent enough. Do do let me know, because obviously if you can't see uh, at all what I'm doing, then it's probably a waste of time. Um, me filming it, but um, I can't see if I'm. I think that's it. There's just that bit there. What's puff puffed up? So I think if I put a stitch across it. That's that one and the last one. So yeah, we'll be able to just go down the paper. I'm surprised that the tissue has um, sewn okay. I'll remember to put that in when I get towards the, the bottom. Okay. doesn't <clears throat> like look right where I've put it I can obviously cut it cut it down after I hope I've not like made it not sit very nice now <laughs> one stitch okay Sorry. <clears throat> so let me move this um, oof, machine out the the way. I think it's raining now. So my machine lives lives there. So it's not too bad to um, drag it out. Shoulders aching a little bit. Don't mind sewing, but um, yeah, it doesn't does quite hurt your um, arms and things. I don't think I could do um, lots of lots of sewing. Right, I'm going to pause and put the um, view back this way. Okay, so we've got this one. I think they've turned out really, really nice. Uh, that one obviously the messy at the back and this one I'm glad I went for the upholstery uh, type at the back I think it needed that kind of rustic um, look and then we've got this one so that is those um, I don't know where I've put some I don't know if I'll put the sequins um, in here or not. Yeah, I think they're, they're in here. 
So I've got some uh, brown seed beads, but I wanted um, some some green ones because I don't think you're really gonna um, see them as much. So let's just try it across there. I don't know if one of these needles or is that a pin or a needle? I'm sure that'll fit through there. Oh, it doesn't. Mm. Might have to get some thinner needles. I mean, to me, that was minute. No, that's not going to fit. Mm. I think I might. That would be the thinnest. Yes. Right. Let's um I'm never gonna be able to thread thread this summer. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Right, it's finding I don't know what's happening. Oh I know where my brown cotton is, it's obviously in the machine, isn't it? Um have I got a brown bobbin that I can take? I think I've just got blue ones now. And say I'm I'm glad um my bobbin didn't run out because I knew uh, that I needed to change all the the bobbins. Let's have a look. Now I've got this uh linen thread. I wonder can you have the rain? Oh, poor Eleanor. I don't drive, so I can't. It's not like I can go and uh, pick her up. Right. I don't know how to do this, <laughs> by the way. Uh, this is the first time I've <laughs> done it. Well, well, I say done it. Who, who knows? I might not even... Uh, do it now. I don't know how to do one of those knots. I've seen people do that twisty round um, thing. I'm just gonna do a couple of knots and hope that a couple of them join together so they don't go through the material. That's um, that's my kind of <laughs> sewing, right? So, what I think you do is go through so I'm thinking that I would like some here so I go like that hope that the knot go stays and then I would thread some of these on So how many do you think we want? So I'm thinking about five. So that's three. I obviously can't see the hole because it's that small. I can't turn it with my fingers. That's it. So that's five. And then I'm thinking... That... I mean, how do you know where to go Go back in? Do you measure it against the beads-ish? Okay, let's have a look at this. So, oh, look at that. Oh, I love it. I think that's how you do it. <laughs> I do think that that is how you do it. So, what would I do then? Would I knock this off? I'm going to do another little run at the top, but I'm just thinking, should I not knock that off? So that's there. But then should not with this needle because I'm up here. But I wonder if then I should put a stitch um there to hold it. 
or I don't know is it supposed to be like oh, I love it right um so I would like to come out about the same ish it's only an estimate <laughs> that's going to be my new word an estimate it's just an estimate Right, I'm obviously going to do the same colour because that's what I've just done. But I'm so excited, I might do another and try some of these small beads, um, the different coloured ones. I'm that excited, I can't find the hole. I might have to get some magnifying glasses. Right, one, I mean, I know you can do that when, when there's loads in, it's very easy to do that, but when there's not, um, it's a bit harder. I wonder, no, because they just roll. Got it. So that's three. Setting um, coral arms off in that. Or is that an ambulance? Oh, please. Uh, for, oh, that one. I've just, I've just, um, I was going to say I've just burned myself. I've just, just stabbed myself. Um, that one's not seeming to want to go through. That hole must be, um, a little bit bigger, smaller. Right, so we've got three. Four. Five. Okay. So we're going to kind of lay it down and then Right, let's <coughs> cut that off. Okay, I'm going to be putting card at the back of these. So, I don't know, would you do the same thing with, um, I was going to call them serviettes, um, sparkly things, um, sequins? Or do you put the sequins? with something else or do you have to say them on individual I can remember my mum saying sequins once and I'm sure she said them on all individual but that was on on some top or something so I'm thinking if I go in there oh that's just flicked off <laughs> No, that doesn't work. Hey, these are so difficult. Oh, oh, I had one then. Come on. I've lost it. Right. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love it. Oh, this. Oh, <laughs> see what happens. I get excited and oh, just nightmare. Right. Got that one.
come on. Right, hopefully, well, I can see one over there as well. I'll just pick that one up. Right, see what this looks like. Oh, yeah. So, if I went in about there. love it i don't know if i don't think that is how it's supposed to go but i really like it so <laughs> i don't suppose there's no rules is there it's no rules but yeah i love it it's added some really nice interest so oh, we've been here an hour and i really want to just sit sit and sew now oh do you think you want to see another one? I think you probably will. <laughs> I've got an answer for you, I'm afraid. Oh no, the people who didn't want to watch the machine in, I said I wasn't doing anything else. Oh. Yeah, I could have probably done with doing that uh, a bit tighter. But I don't think it matters. But actually, there's enough on there to, um, I could put a bulb pin on there and a charm. Oh, I feel like this is really exciting. Right, that looks better. Yeah. Right, I'm going to leave it there because, like I say, I did say, oh, I'm not doing any more. And obviously now I've just got excited and... So, when my uh, green sea beads come, um, we'll have a semi session. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm dead excited. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this needle in here um, because I know that that size will do thingers. I could do with keeping that in here, really, because I bought that from the machine and the machine doesn't like it. So, I'm going to keep that in there. I'll be looking for that at some point. I want to sew something. I'll be like, where is that? So I hope you like it. I'm really chuffed with it. Um, yeah, I think it's great. But yeah, I do think I will be able to put like a bulb pin there. I mean, I could put a bulb pin anyway. I've got to do it. I'm sorry. <coughs> I'm, I'm just a bit excited by it now. So let's get um, a bulb pen out. And let's see where I'm going to go through. So I suppose I'm thinking I could perhaps go in through the stitching. Um, which would give it just a little bit more strength, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, let's see what kind of... I wonder if we want um, a little dragonfly or a little butterfly. I think mean, a butterfly would be nice because it's similar colour. It's like amber. Click ten. I think so. I think I've got my positioning <coughs> a little bit wrong with the bulb pen. Right, how do we do this then? Let's undo it. Right, so for it to sit nice, I want it like that. So I need to go downwards, don't I? So like an airing. So I'll go down there. Oops. Yeah, 
and pick that out. Oh, I love that. And we need a word, don't we, or something? <laughs> we need to tell everybody to come back. Come back. Um, so we either need a definition. So I think that's going to be too big. That's just too big. Not got many um, words left. We've got forest. Moss, twig, sapling. Got a sapling. Hmm, maybe just a little bit too big, but It's a bit too close there. No, I've ruined it. I don't like it. <laughs> so we've got forest. Spring blossoms. I don't know why I'm reading them because we already know that they're too big. Nature notes. Ooh, I think that would be nice if if I can cut it down straight. I think it will be nice. If I can't, then it's not going to be. <laughs> it's just not going to be. Oh, I don't think I've done too bad there. Oh, I do like that. Let's um, ink it up. And then that's it. I'm going. Oh, I hope you've enjoyed this. I've really enjoyed it. And obviously it's got me thinking um, about other things I could uh, do. And seed beads are, you know, if you haven't got any, they're really, really inexpensive. Um, and all you need is some thread. I'm... I'm sure, you know, we've all got some cotton somewhere um, and a needle and just thread them on. Like I say, there's probably a proper way how to, how to do it. Um, I'm not a sewer, so so I don't know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's, it's worked enough for me. I do like that. Yeah, that's lovely. So thank you so much for, for joining me. Um I've had I've had lots of fun and um obviously we've made we made six six um things. And like I say they'll be going on uh, some some notebooks. They're not in the pipeline <laughs> they they're in the future. <laughs> um so yeah I will be putting Putting them away. Um, have I got? Oh, let me just see if I've got um, some to that. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, I love that. I wish I'd have put a few more, but I didn't say. So. But a few more would have been nice um, on there. But apart from that, I mean, if I glued them in place, that would that looks fine. It's just when they all fall. 
I don't know, it adds some interest, doesn't it? Um, anyway, so yeah, I love it. I think they're just going to be uh, the right the right size. This is um, an A5 uh, box. So yeah, I don't even know if they would need um, backing with card or not. Let's, um, I mean, obviously this isn't card. Maybe. I actually rather like that at the back of there. Yeah, I think it probably would look nice with a with a border around it, but I'm not I'm not doing that now. Right, thank you. I'm going. <laughs> See you soon. Bye for now.